So today we're going to be interviewing my dad about how he was in high school. So to start off with the first question, what was life like whenever you were growing up? Um, it wasn't too bad actually. Uh, you know, grew up with a, a brother and three sisters and yeah, not, not much to it. Yeah? Yeah. What was like... Uh, what was really popular whenever you were growing up or in high school? Um, a couple brands were like Vans were popular, uh, FUBU, um, oh. let's see, Reeboks were popular, Nikes of course, and they're still popular. Yeah, to a this lot day. of brands that are still yeah doing good. Mm -hmm. I don't know what a FUBU is though. FUBU is, yeah, it was before your time but it's a lot of like uh, rappers and yeah a lot of rappers were, were and then it was popular like in middle school for me yeah. and fat farm that's another one but yeah those are popular okay um the second one we learned in class that there are some stereotypes when it comes to social circles for instance they're your jocks your brains your loners your stoners your good ats and floaters what group did you belong to and why the stoners Nah, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, I was with the um, I would say the jocks because I was really into football. Yeah. But I also was a floater too, in a sense, because I hung out with well, a few of my cousins. They had like rocker friends and uh, like hippie friends and stuff like that. So I uh, hung out with them mm -hmm. as well when I uh, got a little bit uh, like a little bit older, like in. Uh, sophomore, fresh, uh, sophomore and junior year, mm -hmm. I hung out with them a lot more, but yeah. yeah. I mean, I could see it because you're a really easy person to talk to, mm -hmm. and I mean, yeah, and I don't judge. I mean, yeah, I was never a bully or anything like that, so I was you could always talk just to a cool, anyone, really. yeah, cool person to hang out with, and I hung out with cool people too from, mm -hmm. from all types, yeah, that's cool. I mean, it's good to know everyone. A little bit of everyone. Yeah, you gotta have friends. You gotta just make friends yeah. throughout, you know, throughout life. That's it. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. good answer. Um, who were your best friends in high school and why? Uh, best friend in high school, his name was Robert. Uh, we didn't really start, we weren't really best friends to like, uh, I would say junior year. But yeah, we just we we're just crazy. We like to we like cars. He had a fast car, and uh, we just we just hung out a lot. Nice. Mm -hmm. How did you guys become friends? Um, that's a good answer. Uh, question. <laughs> yeah, good question. Um, I don't know how how did we become friends? Oh, we had a class together. Yeah. We, he was he was popular and I was like I was a football player but he was like popular cool kid and uh, we had a class together and then we from that class we started hanging out a lot he would always have an ice cream like we there's vending machines and then cool. they would there was like frozen ice cream that we had at the school in so your vending machine I was like where'd you get that ice cream yeah oh, and that's uh, crazy he's like it's right there by the cafeteria or whatever so I ended up getting one and then I got hooked so every time. We show up to class, we show up to class with the same ice cream. <laughs> but yeah, it was funny. It was oh, cool. That's then that's funny. how we started like I guess hanging out with, with each other. Because of ice cream? Yeah, it's pretty much ice cream, yeah. It was your sweet tooth. Yeah. That was started sweet tooth. it. <laughs> yep. Okay. Um what were your best and worst subjects in high school and why? Uh I would say English because I just best couldn't or worse. No, worse okay. worse. I'm gonna start with the worst. It's English. English was challenging just because mm -hmm. there's a lot of punctuation that goes into it that I didn't yeah. really understand. But yeah, uh, a lot of sentence types too. Like, yeah, um, how to start it and yeah, it's yeah, it was just confusing. But mm -hmm. I guess that was one thing I never really paid attention to either, like like that. But I, I would say that and history because that has to do yeah. with a lot of literature. And you have to really pay attention. Because yeah, if you miss, like, one part of it, you're like, 
what's going on? Yeah, uh, but history, I mean, history now is interesting. I, I like it. But yeah, it is. Yeah, those are some of the most difficult ones that I had. I know. My teacher, the one who this class was for, he brought up that he thinks that we're being taught history backwards because mm -hmm. we learn, learn, like, before we learned world history and all of that, we learned U.S. history and, like, Texas history and stuff like that yeah. so it's like how are we gonna learn all of this and then you start picking up things as you keep going up whenever you could just learn like the main thing and then start going into little sections of it right it's kind of yeah that's that's the it makes like, more sense the yeah. way he says it it's like yeah because there's a timeline for everything you gotta learn it it. I feel like you too. have to learn it in sequence too mm -hmm. yeah it's like yeah but the uh those are the the worst ones. The best ones, I would say math. I was pretty good at it. I didn't get too far with it, but I like I like trying to figure out. Uh, I like trying to figure out like problems. So that's that was like I like the challenge of figuring out problems, like the end the end problem, you know. So that, that was like one of my best subjects. But the uh, besides that one, um, science was pretty cool. Yeah, I mean... I would say it's math and science, because it kind of relates into each other, too. Yeah. They're similar, like but atoms, different. Like atoms, yeah. Because you use math and science, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah, those are... Yeah, those two. Mm -hmm. um, what else did I take? I don't know. You take any... I took Spanish, but that was... I didn't really like that. Because it, was, it wasn't really, like, informative. It was just like, oh, this is this, this is this, this. Mm -hmm. They didn't teach you anything? Yeah, they, I didn't learn anything really. Yeah. You just had your credit and yeah. it was like, oh. Just cuss words. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Those are not real. I, they're words. Did, yeah. But, okay. Um, Did you ever get in trouble? In high school? No. No? There's times I could have got in trouble, but I didn't. But you didn't get yeah. in trouble? Yeah. Huh? I mean, you didn't, it's not, it wasn't on your record. It's so. not on my record. Um, what were your after school activities? Um, just mainly football. Football? Yeah, I just, I focused on football after school. Uh, lifting and lifting. Just like working out and stuff? Yeah, working out. Even after your football season ended? Practice. After f uh, football season, uh, yeah, I would, I would play football and basketball a lot um, at a park with friends and family. Mm -hmm. That's what I like to do after school. If it wasn't so that, I was a always like running. sports and running. hanging out and stuff like that. Yeah, running. Yeah, hanging out. Uh, I didn't really do too, too much. I mean, I really just like sports a lot. So that's all I would do. Mm -hmm. No video games, nothing like that around yeah. high school. You. You're more of like yeah, sports, I mean, wanting in, to be outside. Back, back in my day, that was the, you, you didn't really have true. uh like video. Well, we did, but you did, but I didn't. I, I didn't have the money to have like a video game. Okay. So I would always. I mean, Don't I would always think like, all my cousins that had like video games or. But it wasn't like an everyday after school. Yeah, we were thing. always we were playing those, but then we would get tired and go outside and play. So we were mostly outside. Yeah. If anything. Um, if you could do high school all over again, would you change anything? If so, what and why? Um, I don't think I would because I learned a lot along the way and I guess what I've experienced is why I'm here, where I'm at today. Mm -hmm. So I don't think I would change anything. Wouldn't change anything. It turned out to be good, yeah. even if it I was learned, rough then. Yeah, it feels. Yeah, I mean, I had it pretty rough, but I wouldn't change anything. Nice. I feel like a lot of people would answer that. Like, yeah, there's a lot of things that would. I mean, you could wish about like things were different. That's one but, thing. But if changing you know, like my you life, to where you like, are now. yeah, it's it's not. I don't feel like it, I'd be the same person. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah, most definitely. If everything went smoothly, you'd have probably been like, yeah, you wouldn't have learned as much. Yeah, exactly. You learn with the struggles. Yep. So you learn through difficult times. Mm 
for sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what was your favorite year of high school and why? I would say my junior year. I would say my sophomore year, sophomore, the, the, the middle of my sophomore year into my junior, because that's where I was like really like, I guess really like, I had a flow of like my schooling, you know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. that's, it was like. You were doing good. Yeah, I was doing good like football and, and school yeah. and I didn't have, I didn't really have no issues really. It was just, you know, fun. Mm -hmm. And uh yeah, that was like a real, it's like the real fun time. Of yeah, your... cause like I was, I guess like physically I was like at my top, like mm -hmm. tip top in, in football. So that felt really good. Yeah, it feels good to be good at what you're passionate about. Yeah, yeah, football. I, uh, I loved playing football, so it was, yeah, it was, it was a good time at that time. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of people like freshman year is like first year. Yeah, freshman year is like. I feel like a lot of people in. expect it to be like their best year yeah. ever, but well, when you think just, about it, you're barely you're, getting your feet first wet. Year. You, yeah. yeah, you're like you don't know what's like. Classes really, are harder and everything like that. Yeah, it's like you, you don't know what to expect, so you have a lot of like emotions and a yeah, lot of nerves. It's a lot going. different from middle school too. Yeah, but once you once once freshman year ends then you're like okay you're used to yeah, it yeah i already now. know this is my school like you yeah. know what i mean you know everybody you got you got acquainted with everybody so mm -hmm. yeah. yeah you're, you're kind of comfortable the second year and then your senior year is like oh no yeah the senior you have year is like all oh, your you gotta, college stuff thinking about yeah you gotta that's when you're stepping into the real world you gotta think about a job if not job or school yeah, it's like, you finish school, Yeah. you decide if you want to go on to do more school or just Yeah, if you start want to pursue like doing your school own for things. a career or you want to just take a break for a little bit and get back on school. Yeah. Got a lot to figure out. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, what are your favorite stories slash memories from high school? Um, uh, let's see, favorite memories. I would say, like, being over at my cousin's house, really, because we'd have a lot of, like, like, hangouts, and, you know, they had friends that I, mm -hmm. I that I knew from, from school, too, and we, we went to the same high school, so it was, a. Uh, yeah, it was just a big circle of like people that we knew, so we were always just hanging out, having fun, and just being crazy, crazy kids, really. That's that was the fun cool. part, just, you know, not knowing what's going to happen, but you're just having so much fun, you know? Yeah, just enjoying yourself. Yeah, just enjoying yourself. Do you have any, like, memories from whenever you played football? Like, any things from like your game days or yeah. practices that like you think about yeah yeah i do um yeah practice a lot practice was so much fun more than game days because you didn't have the pressure of like yeah winning you know what i mean so you're just having fun and learning yeah basically. Pra yeah practice was just like just being the toughest you know what i mean game days were too but like you know it really, was different. It was more challenging with the guys you already know. Yeah. And uh, if you lose against someone you don't know, you, it's not as hard as like losing to your own teammates. Yeah. So yeah, that that was cool. I had a lot of highlights during practice. The game, not so much, because I was uh, I was always second string, but I tried to get that first string. But there was just somebody that was I guess better than me. Yeah, I mean, but it was still fun. I still, yeah, yeah, and a lot of times, like, you have people that are like with coaches, they have an expectation towards one person, 
and they give that person all their attention. You know what yeah. I mean? So, so it's some hard to some get of the times, out. yeah, like there's good players, but they don't have the coaching that they need to like, you know, shine. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of times it's just they're they're focused on that one person that they are like, you know, have an expectation of like you you're gonna be this, but yeah, everybody else see is everyone else really, is, yeah. um, What is it? What's the word? They're um, I don't know. Like favored? No, like they're too like focused on one person that they don't see everyone else who has a chance to do yeah. better. So it's like yep. you're hoping that you could move up, but so it's hard whenever you have coaches that are just kind of focusing on their star player that they have. Rather than focusing on making the rest of their players better. Yeah. 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 yeah if you weren't big enough or you weren't like fast enough, they wouldn't really give you the attention. I mean, I was both of those, but it was just that, I mean, you're competing, you know what I mean, against mm -hmm. other, other people too, so. Yeah. In that sense, it's like, you're just always in competition. Mm -hmm. You gotta wait till somebody either gets injured or just messes up real bad yeah it just messes up real bad so you can get in and that's just the that's, that's just the, the truth that's the <laughs> yeah. truth like it sounds bad whenever it, yeah. you put it that way but that's how the nfl works that's how uh yeah, the only works. way people get yeah. like drafted someone gets time, in or just yeah. injured or they have to retire eventually yeah so yeah okay that was a good one um this one we kind of already answered it. Uh, did you play any sports? Yeah. No. Football. If so, which ones and how was I the experience of playing the sport in high school? Huh? Uh, I said, if so, which ones and how was the experience of playing the sport in high school? Oh, okay. Football. And it was, it was a good experience. It teaches you, like, a lot of self-discipline and mm -hmm. uh, to, like, I would say, uh, you know, not make excuses for yourself and you know, give it your all. You gotta, mm -hmm. you know, really see what you're made of, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But like outside of that too, it teaches you, you know, to be responsible and to, uh, to work, to work, to always work as a team with people, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, I would say that it, uh, it, it really helps you take accountability for everything you do in life, you know? Yeah. Yeah, so our coaches would always be like, you know, if you're at home and your mom's still washing your, your drawers and your, your laundry, like, you, you need to step it up. Like, you need to start doing your own because you guys are young men, you know what I mean? Just mm -hmm. things like that. that it just kind of transpired into actual life. Yeah. It just it shows you that you have to grow up more. Yeah, especially being in high school, you're already a, like a young adult almost, and mm -hmm. you gotta you gotta take on those responsibilities because you're gonna you're already at that age where you're gonna be growing up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Meeting the real world, so yeah. just getting us ready for that, I guess too. Mm -hmm. That's cool that you had coaches that kind of pushed you guys to mm -hmm. do better. Okay. Um, what shoes were popular when you were in high school? Which ones did you own? If you did, I would say shoes like, uh, shoes like van the Vans. I I always wore a lot of Vans because they were like the cheapest and the most stylish. Mm -hmm. Uh, but Jordans were real popular. I wasn't really into them. At the time. Which ones were they? I think the eleven. The, I think the only ones I knew back then were like the Elevens. That like everybody had, mm -hmm. or like the I think they're the. I think they're the eights. Some of the eights were pretty popular, and yeah. But those I think Converse were real popular too. A lot of like the skater trucks. kind of. Yeah. Um. I did have a pair of Airwalks, but those were those were like they're kind of skaters, but they weren't like that popular. But yeah, I would say those too. Yeah, I mean, you have. Those a, are still popular. To the they day are. Too, so. 
You own so do you what Jordans do you have? You have a lot of shoes. Oh yeah, yeah. That I don't know where there's still mm -hmm. in the box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just a collector at this point. Yeah. You should display I'm them. To, I'm gonna have to resell them for some money. Shoot. I mean you can. Okay, uh what did you want to be when you got older? How is it different from what you became? Oh, when I got, well, when I got older, like as a kid or? I mean, high school, what was like what you school? were trying oh. for? Or even whenever you're younger. I mean, it changes a lot. In high school, I didn't really have an idea of what I wanted to do, but as a kid, I always wanted to. I always thought I was like probably gonna be a police officer or a police officer. Or I think I I kind of wanted to do the army, but I was just a kid. I'd, I'd like <laughs> like know. the army, yeah. like you know, army soldiers and stuff like that. But yeah, I didn't really. It was just a thought, you know. Yeah. A police officer, cause like. You know, I mean, I feel like every little kid uniform. goes through that kind of yeah. phase. But it it was always like a cop or like I, I never thought I wanted like to be like basic a firefighter. Kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, just like the things when you're a kid you think of it are like the are like superheroes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, they're like the you coolest. Like firefighters. People. When kids see a firefighter, they're like, oh my goodness, firefighter. Yeah. A big red truck, and then cops are like, you know. They protect and serve. And yeah. You always want to be something like that. But. Mm -hmm. In high school, you didn't really have an idea. It was. Yeah, in high school, I didn't really. I really, I just, I, I, I wanted to be, I wanted to be a professional football player, but that was just something that I was, just, I wanted. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I didn't know what it takes to be a. A professional football player. Yeah, how much like training and everything? Uh. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. I've, I've I've I was friends with people that made it to the NFL. Yeah. But a couple of people from our school, they made it to the NFL. But yeah, I was just. I mean, you gotta have a team for that too. You know what I mean? Like yeah. you gotta have Especially your you have parents to pay behind you. you gotta yeah. Have, yeah, because even in high good, school, like, there's colleges looking at you. And yeah. They're, they're seeing how you perform. But mm -hmm. I mean, maybe if your that was coaches the goal. were high more school, focused on helping you and making you more better and seeing what you were capable of, you could have got to that point. Yeah. But. That and, yeah, I think I just, I needed the, like, just the more support from my family and, like, my parents, but. Yeah. It was just a lot of, a lot of struggle through that, but yeah, mm -hmm. that that was my main focus. Like was, well, that I wanted. You know what I mean? Like I wanted. My main thought that I was like, I want to try to pursue to be a professional football player. But it wasn't like something out. that you really. Yeah, as far as like career wise, I don't think I I was like thinking about that. Yeah. I don't think I was like, yeah, I want to be, you know, a doctor. I want to be, you know, a police officer. Yeah. The option of going to the military had had popped up, but. It's a lot of work. Yeah, that's, that's a big commitment. And I don't think I was ready for that commitment. Mm -hmm. Um. So, how all of the things that you wanted to be how is it different from what you're doing now what would you say changed or how did you decide that you wanted to start cutting people's hair being a barber yeah well when i like barbering and cutting hair was something that i just like enjoyed at the time like i felt like that was like it was it was a a craft that like I wanted to be good at mm -hmm. naturally like I didn't try to you know like it wasn't something you had to learn like yeah it wasn't no pressure with it, it. came really easily yeah for you. I, I just enjoyed it when I did it at the time you know what I mean mm -hmm. like just cutting like family and friends 
Like I enjoyed doing it. It was like no pressure. It wasn't no like a hassle for you to yeah. do something. They always say like do what you like. If you love you, if you love what you do, you never work a day in your life, and that's what kind of made me want to pursue uh, barbering because it it just brought you know a joy, and I enjoyed it. It didn't feel like work to me. It was just you know something I enjoy doing. Yeah. That's cool. I mean, you're never really searching for what you really want to do. It just kind of finds you. Yeah, and, and you know, that's the way you make the most money is what you do with, when you do what you love. Like, You actually enjoy what you're doing? Yeah, if you enjoy what you're doing, yeah, you make a lot of money. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That was our last question for the interview. Cool. That was a good one. All right, well. We learned a lot of stuff. Thanks for okay. having me on the show, and I appreciate it. Yep. That was the end. Hope you enjoyed it.